Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I know you are all doing very well, despite the threat of COVID-19. I believe you are all observing the necessary protocols to avoid contracting and spreading COVID-19. You are once again welcome to lesson 10 of the course Growth, Development and Learning with course code EDU 152. The topic for today's lesson is motivation and reinforcement in the classroom. Motivation and reinforcement in the classroom. So I write it on the board. With this lesson, we are going to look at how we can motivate learners, how we can motivate the students that we teach, so that they will be able to learn and learn effectively. Now, I want to begin this lesson with a story of a boy. This boy, at the age of 10, lived in a town where there was no hospital. In fact, they had only a clinic. One day, the father of this little boy fell sick. And he was rushed to the clinic. In fact, when they got to the clinic, there was no medical personnel to take care of the sick father. They had to go and call the nurse on duty. They went and the nurse was nowhere to be found. So they had to pick a taxi, rush this man to a nearby town. By the time they got there, the father was dead. This little boy became so, so, so sad. And from that day, he made up his mind that he was going to study hard and become a medical doctor so that he will attend to the needs of the people in the community should they fall sick. Though this little boy was not too good in mathematics, he started studying seriously with particular reference to mathematics and other calculation subjects. Lo and behold, the boy was able to complete JHS. He went to SHS and did science. And he came out as one of the best students in his school. So he was enrolled in one of the universities in the country and is now a medical doctor. What I am trying to emphasize here is that this little boy got motivated by the death of the father and that he studied hard even the courses that he was not able to do, he studied those courses and at the end of the day achieved the goals, the set goals that he had for himself. He is motivated, he was motivated to study hard. 
you are also in here. And what I am trying to say is that something should push you to study hard to become a very good teacher. Now, the first question I want to ask is why did you decide to come to your school to be trained as a teacher? What pushed you? What motivated you to become a teacher? So you think about it, and I would like to take your ideas, your opinions online. So uh, you tell us what made you or what motivated you to become a teacher and not a banker and not an engineer and not any other person but rather you decided to become a teacher. I'll give you two minutes, think about it and then share your ideas with us on the platform.